Say it loud, say it clear. Immigrants are welcome here. Many of the faces rallying outside the state capitol understand the benefits of DACA by living it. We are here to say. First time college students like Miriam, a senior at Sacramento State, a legal status at risk of being stripped away. At least for me personally, um, it's always, I always live on edge. Every single day, every, since I even got DACA, it's always, if it's not me, it's my parents. Each speaker, a college student, empowered, but also acknowledging a stress and uncertainty ingrained since childhood. I think the anxiety will definitely continue to increase, especially for students with DACA who are now going to be threatened with deportations or um, just going to lose their protections in general. And for me and for my family, being on documents, it means that you're stuck in one place. For Alejandro, the UC Davis sophomore missed the opportunity to apply for DACA by two months. Although renewals are still possible, in 2017, the Trump administration halted new DACA applicants. I'm just feeling like a limbo. You can either go left or right, and it's just, you don't really know what's going to happen. For those speaking publicly, they know the risk, not only to themselves, but their family. For me, it means my life. It means fighting for the right to assist, fighting for the right to call this my home. I've met a couple of, you know, the original Dreamers who began this movement, and they've had stories where their family's been, um, you know, detained. And, and it's scary, but at the same time, because of them, I'm here today. If they don't let us dream, we, we won't, won't let, let them sleep. sleep. I personally think it's worth it. It's worth the fear, and it's worth whatever consequences it may have. Home is here! At the state capitol, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA, 3 News.